EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for April 13th, 2020. We have a very large and impactful system that's going to be affecting the region today with heavy rain and also some very high winds coming in two parts. There's really a, a synoptic wind that we're going to be dealing with this morning, and then there's a second potential with a uh, line of a squall line, basically, of strong to perhaps severe storms rolling through. So it's like a one two punch with the wind today. Uh, and the winds are already going to be cranking this morning, going to pick up a little bit more as we progress through the morning. And a, a bulk of the precipitation has already fallen overnight. Uh, came in uh, last night, late evening last night and uh, moved through the region. And we still have uh, some uh, bouts of heavy rain to deal with this morning. I don't think the precipitation to go is going to, is going to go the entire day. We're going to have a little bit of a break. Uh, once we get uh, to about uh, past mid, mid to late afternoon, we should have these uh, storms or whatever's left of it starting to move eastward and out of the region. And uh, then the system will pull away when we turn partly cloudy here overnight. Winds are going to diminish once we get down, get into the uh, early evening hours. They'll uh, diminish considerably. So this is not going to be as long standing of an event like we had back-to-back uh, -back days of Thursday and Friday. Last week, this is just going to be with the system. Uh, but it was going to be quite impactful before, it, and it's going to leave its mark with uh, you know with a lot of uh, very high wind gusts that are going to expect it from this system, and uh, some expected power outages from this system. So let's go over the high resolution rapid refresh. I'm going to start this off at 7 a.m. and you can see some rain across the region. This is a continuation of was already ongoing last night. Some uh, heavier rain, obviously embedded in with this as well. And as we go through the course of the morning here, you can get uh, some heavy rain. This is going one hour ahead here. You can see the timestamp up here, 11Z, starting off at 7 a.m. So he's moving out one hour at a time. So here is 8, and here is 9. You might get a little bit of a break in here where some, it's not constantly, uh, as soon as you get done with some heavy rain, you might get a little bit of a break in between there where it's not doing much or you get, just get a few showers, lighter showers uh, to contend with. But then we're going to have a squall line that's going to come across the state here and uh, you can see this uh, looking at early afternoon now. This is looking at uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon across central Pennsylvania from Williamsport down to Harrisburg. And this is going to make its way eastward. And this is going to bring another chance for uh, strong to severe wind as it moves eastward. And we think once it gets past, gets past this point, this runs out of range here, this particular model. But once it gets past this point, uh, we see this uh, precipitation dying off in the mid to late afternoon hours. So this will move away and then we turn partly cloudy overnight again winds are going to diminish once it does so and here's the winds that we're looking at early this morning at 7 a.m already gusty and it was already turning gusty overnight a little bit past midnight here we were getting some gusty winds already but we're getting some wind gusts in the 30s and 40s mile per hour range that's only going to increase as we move through the course of the morning uh, so here's 9 a.m here's 10 and you can see some of these uh, oranges are showing up here, and even some reds. The reds are uh, in indicative of 60 plus, and that's going to be this morning anyway, just down here in these areas. But uh, you see some uh, many readings above 50 miles per hour across southeastern PA, parts of the Poconos and higher elevations here, uh, and some areas, other areas approaching 50, uh, closer to Lehigh Valley, uh, down to Berks County and Lancaster. And again, uh, once we get uh, through the course of the day here, you're going to run into some more wind here with a squall line uh, taking place and moving across the state here. So this is looking at early afternoon when that squall line's moving eastward. You can see some pretty heavy uh, winds coming in here, plenty of 50s and 60 mile per hour readings. Now, the National Weather Service has a, at least at the time this video was recorded this evening, has a high wind warning uh, for areas generally east of that line here. Uh, but you can see there's plenty plenty of 50 and 60 pluses that are on this side of the line here so we opted to go a little bit higher than the national weather service with these areas where i put those x's so the uh, areas from lancaster burks lehigh northampton uh, monroe pike and even northwest new jersey here are still going to get into some pretty hefty winds we think and if you have the second round come in here with these uh, thunderstorms you could get some wind gusts again uh, easily over 60 in any severe thunderstorms that roll through so you might see, see some severe thunderstorms roll through and these might not just be straight line winds i wouldn't can't roll out a, a brief spin up with uh, ef0 ef1 type tornado not out of the realm of possibility at all but you're going to have some very high wind gusts that are, have the potential to, re to reach or exceed 70 miles per hour in some of these uh, uh, more robust parts of the line here so it's going to be very windy uh, but then when this moves off to the east you see a dramatic drop off in the winds and when we get to the evening this should diminish 
Uh, once we get past like six, seven, eight o'clock, somewhere around there, we should start to see a drop off pretty dramatically. Uh, what's driving us? We have a low level jet uh, screaming right over top of the area. And uh, this is a, a it play, doing a squeeze play, basically. We have an incoming trough here. And then you have a big high pressure sitting out to our east here. So in between here, you get this funneling effect or channeling effect, whatever you want to call it, where it accelerates. The wind accelerates through this little channel here. And it just happens to be going right over top of our area. And that's giving us these high winds in association with this system. But luckily, again, this is moving out this evening. So we're going to turn partly cloudy and the winds are going to diminish overnight. And uh, we're not done with this for a prolonged period. And we get to Tuesday. It is going to be cooler. Back to partly cloudy skies, though. And winds are uh, much lower. Much lower. not uh, And negligible. Not really even noticeable. So it's going to be uh, a nice day here on Tuesday. A lot cooler, though. Now, today we're going to be you know, above 70 degrees in some locations. And then uh, back in the middle 50s here for Tuesday. Or either side of the middle 50s. And then on Wednesday, Tuesday night Wednesday, we have a little another reinforcing front moving through. Could be a few showers of that. Uh, going into early Wednesday morning, for especially for our southeastern areas here. Uh, otherwise, just remaining mostly cloudy. And uh, temperatures a little bit cooler as this front moves through. We're getting back, back, back down to the uh, near the 50 degree mark, maybe even upper 40s for highs here in some locations on Wednesday. And uh, same thing here for uh, Thursday. We're expecting uh, partly cloudy skies, though, here on Thursday with temperatures uh, near 50 or 52-ish, something like that for highs. Uh, and then for the third straight day on Friday... With another frontal boundary moving off to our south. Could be a few showers with that later in the day for our southern areas. And again, near 50 degrees for highs. And Saturday, we're going to start to turn uh, the corner a little bit. And we're going to have temperatures increasing a little bit anyway. Back to what they will be on Tuesday. Kind of like mid middle 50s and partly cloudy. And then Sunday, also looking at partly cloudy skies ahead of this next system. But we're going to turn warmer. And temperatures getting above 60 by the time we get to Sunday. So a lot to digest there. But it uh, looks like once we get past this system here today which is going to be this impactful system we're dealing with the heavy rain, the wind, uh, power outages associated with that are expected in a lot of areas, especially for our southeastern, area, southeastern areas. But I do think it's going to be a little bit further northwest than the areas that are, that are indicated by the high wind warning from the National Weather Service. In fairness, they do have the, uh, the, you know, the wind advisories up for, the, for those areas, but aren't expecting these uh, gusts to be too high uh, in those areas that I mentioned. But I do expect... That we're going to be dealing with this uh, farther in the interior here with these high winds. You can see that uh, easily here, uh, getting into the eastern parts of uh, northeast PA, all the way down through the Lehigh Valley, uh, down to Berks and Lancaster, and even back here in Lebanon, uh, Schuylkill. So there's going to be some plenty of high wind gusts that are over 50 miles per hour recorded in a lot of areas. So don't let your guard down just because the National Weather Service does not have the high wind warnings extended that far northwest. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for. April 13th, 2020. Have a great Monday.